Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out a new Alter Ego eyeshadow palette. This is the Alter Ego Sakura palette, and it's just like a Japanese cherry blossom inspired palette. And it's really, really pretty. There's a mirror on the top up here, and these are all the colors. So you can see I kind of already swatched some of them. Um, but I will show you guys some swatches as well. I think it just has a really pretty combination of these really nice wearable shades and then these like cool toned green colors and they combine really well or you can kind of divvy up the palette and wear them on their own. So let's get started. So I already did the majority of my face makeup so we can just really focus on trying out this palette. So like I said, I do want to swatch a few of these colors, mainly the shimmer colors. So I'm going into the shade Prime, Radiant, Fair, and Cherry. And they are so highly pigmented and beautiful. So this is like a little bit of a, like a lighter green and this one's a little darker. And you have this pink shade and then this white frosty color. So to start out, I am using the Alter Ego eyeshadow base. I used this one in the first um, palette from Alter Ego that I tried out recently as well. I really, really liked this one. So I'm just going to place this onto my lids and just kind of tap it out with my ring finger. So I think I want to go for a really soft look today, but I definitely think I'm going to go in with more of these pastel green kind of colors here. So rather than sticking to a neutral color palette on the eyes today, I'm going to kind of play around with some more color, but in a very wearable and kind of soft way. So I'm going to start out in the shade Spring, and it's just a really neutral color, very, very light. It's just going to act as a base for the rest of our eyeshadows using this brush from Real Techniques and just buffing this shade all along the crease of the eye. If it gets on the lid, that's totally fine. Nothing super precise here. It's just really a base for everything else. I can start to add some more color. So I'm going in with this Morphe M441 blending brush and I'm going into the shade Pale, which is this like really light green shade. I'm just going to place this all along the outer corner and crease. The color is pastel, so it does come up pretty light. So I did layer the color a little bit, and then that definitely helped to enhance the pigmentation of the shade. But to help the color pop even more, I am going to I'm going to go into this color right here, Sky, and it's another matte just slightly darker and I think that this color is going to really be the color that helps the eyeshadow look that we're going for kind of come together. And I'm just going to use the same brush to do this. So again, popping that on the outer corner and pulling it inwards. Before I go ahead and add shimmer, I'm going to kind of go in and work with the lower lash line. So I'm going to go into this dark green shade called Grove. And I'm going to use a Morphe M152 brush. It's just a really small eyeshadow brush so you can get a nice precise application. And just dragging that color across. This is what that color looks like in a swatch just so you guys can get a better look at it. But when, when I applied it to the lower lash line, I did use the product and then I applied it again just, like, just to make it a little bit darker um, because I think it does have a sheen to it, this shade, so it's not completely matte so it doesn't come up. So you have to kind of work with the color a little bit differently to get that pigmentation. It's not quite a matte formula. So now we're going to go ahead and add some shimmer to the lids. So I'm going into the shade Fair, which is this gorgeous shimmer green color right here. I'm just going to use my ring finger to apply this. Again, you guys can just see how beautiful that color is. I think it's going to be stunning on the eyes. And I'm just going to start with this on the center of the lids and then work it inwards. Kind of just fade it and blend it in with everything else. Just looks so beautiful on the eyes. And now using a Morphe M124 brush, I'm going into the shade 
Radiant, which is this light green right here. And this shade is going to act as a bit of a highlight on the inner part of that lid. Just adds a little bit more dimension to the eye. Kind of create that same dimension on the outer corners of the eye. I'm going to go into the shade Twinkle, which is this dark green shade. And it does have a shimmer in it, but that's okay. The whole lid is kind of already covered in shimmer. Um, so we're just going to add some more depth on the outer corners. So I'm just going to kind of blend this on the very outer part of the lid and just flick it out slightly. And smudging it inwards. I'm really not going for anything super precise here. It helps to kind of give the eye a little bit more of a lifted look on the outer corners as opposed to when I don't add that same definition on the outer corners like you can see on this eye. And I am going to go in with some concealer just to kind of clean up those edges. It just really helps finish everything off. For my highlight on my brow bone, I'm going to go into the shade Prime, which is this color right here, using a Morphe M431 to do this, and just placing that right onto my brow bone. So I went ahead and added lashes off camera. Now I'm going to just add some black liner to my tight line, and this is obviously optional, um, but also a white pencil would actually also look good if you didn't want to do a black liner or no liner at all. Um, I just always add black pencil to my tight line and my waterline. And now I'm going to finish off the eyes using some mascara. So I am going in with the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and applying this to my top and bottom lashes. I actually don't think I'm going to add any like inner corner liner because I kind of just like the way that this eye look looks as is. So I'm just going to add my highlighter because that's the only thing really left that I have to do with my face and I will be back to do lips. So for lips, I'm going to start out by using this Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Charm. I do have a couple of Alter Ego liquid lipsticks that I really do like the formula of the matte liquid lipsticks. I'm not so much of a fan of matte liquid lipsticks anymore these days, um, but I do actually kind of like that formula, but I don't have any that are like this light of a shade to use. I definitely want to stick with a lighter neutral lip since the eyes are on the more bold color side today. To top this lip pencil today, I am going in with the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Naked Cherry and it's just a neutral gloss. So this is the finished look. So that is it for today's video. Obviously super colorful, perfect for the end of summer. Um, I do really like the way that all the shades kind of blend it out and how everything looks together. Overall, I do think this is a great affordable palette and I definitely would love to create some more neutral looks using more of these like mauve cool tones in here. This video is not sponsored, but if you guys are interested in any of the Alter Ego products, you guys can use my code VC10 for 10% off. We'll link it down below for you guys so you can check it out. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.